everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well i've got another haul today no shock there is there really um been into home bargains again of course they've got more pumpkin stuff so that is just oh, they keep adding little pumpkin-y things yeah little pumpkin kitchenware items so yeah i'm really excited to show you them i also went to poundland but the poundland that is closest to me isn't the best one it's not got like a huge range of stuff but i did get a few bits from there as well that i will share with you and yeah loads of goodies to show you before i go diving into all the bags i just want to quickly mention i don't know whether um you may have seen the video before some of you may have done i did a what's in my bag video i'll link it if you want to give it a watch in that video i featured a teddy blake handbag i'll just show it you now this beautiful handbag i use it all the time honestly it is just held up so well such good quality and the reason i'm telling you about this is because they have a huge sale on at the moment there is up to like 70 percent off their bags i'm going to link it all down below because they're really good quality handbags it's like having genuinely like having a designer handbag but for a much lower cost and the bags are made in italy made from premium italian leather so the quality is genuinely so so good they do so many different designs as well like depending on what kind of bag that you want i wanted a nice big roomy tote bag which can fit loads of things in you can go and watch the video where i show you exactly what i carry around with me everything but the kitchen sink in this bag and yeah the gold hardware on it is just beautiful you put the little teddy blake logo at the bottom i just think it's a really nice classic bag that's just going to last and go with so many different outfits so the national handbag sale is on now so yeah up to 70 percent off their bag i also have a discount code if you're watching this and the handbag sale is over so you can use that as well so yeah go and check them out now i will show you exactly what i have been picking up if there is anything else for me to buy in home bargains i mean i just literally have the whole of the store in my house it seems um but i did get some really good stuff so i'll show you my favorite thing first of all here it is look at how cute this is this was only 4 99 this cookie jar this is a new thing in i love that they're still adding all of this pumpkin range they also have mugs which i'll show you in a minute because they also have one of them of course i do they had pumpkin bowls as well in black and orange the mugs are in black and orange as well but i didn't get any of the bowls because i just thought not that i need this really i don't need any more jars but i will find a home for this in the kitchen but yeah they have some bowls but i just decided that i didn't really need them <laughs> you know sensible um but this this can come out every year and can be filled with gingerbread cookies or just look cute on the side i just love it i don't know what it is about pumpkins at the minute i saw a really funny reel on instagram the other day where somebody was like a, this guy was going around the house and filming all of the pumpkins items that his girlfriend had bought and it was just like crazy but what is it what is it about them they're just the cutest thing they're taking over my house at the minute but yeah it's a little bit of an obsession i just feel like i need it all <laughs> really do um but yeah i thought that was a great price for 4.99 so have a look out for that if you are looking out for pumpkin items because i know they're very popular i know it's not just me and it's got half a coffee in it because i have of course been using it this morning but this is the mug i got this the other day so i don't have this on the receipt but i know that it was under two pound for this and like i say they do have it in black as well obviously if you don't want the bright orange but i thought i'd just get orange because it matches like the casserole dish that i got the other day and now my new jar it's a good size as well you can get a good decent size coffee in there i've still got half an undrunk undrank undrunk half an undrank un half a coffee that's gone cold in there that i haven't drunk yet or drank i haven't drank yet <laughs> but yeah love it right what else did i get from good old home bargains oh sticking with the um autumnal theme i got some winter sparkle sif spray that's gonna smell all festive and like cinnamon and cranberries and all that amazing good stuff my favorites then i'm gonna be so happy i'm gonna spray this all over the place might encourage me to clean the house a little bit more it is yeah just winter sparkle it says they also had like a sif cream cleaner in this scent as well i didn't buy that though i just thought i don't really i don't need any cream cleaner but this is £1.49 for this trigger spray it's a limited edition one as well safe for food preparation areas so yeah i'm just going to spray that all over the kitchen it's a nice festive scent hopefully i also got some Zoflora. changed the packaging a bit more mod for cranberry and orange which is my favorite i would say actually of like the festive 
cents. How much do they charge for this in Old Home Bargains? $1.99 for that. I love putting some of this in the sink and just with the hot water as we do and it just makes the whole kitchen smell so gorgeous it's really inviting that's what i love about all these scents this time of year i just feel like it just automatically makes me feel like cozy and you know when it's dark at night you're putting all your lights on it just feels really nice um to have those smells around i think it really adds to it doesn't it the smell of your house just makes you feel a certain way so yeah autumn themed cleaning items i also got some harpic Action Fresh Lavender Fields Toilet Cleaner, which is this about 99p in there? Yeah, 99p for that in Home Bargains. So these items are not particularly exciting, but they're for Tobes. He's been getting on at me for a, um, he needs a pencil case. I don't think that this is gonna be the one that he is gonna love, but it was the fact that I keep thinking I need to get my pencil case and I haven't seen one and I just saw this whilst I was in there. I don't think it was very much, I think it was about 99p. And I just thought I'll grab it whilst I see it and then this can do him for now because I know that he, you know, he keeps, he needs a pencil case and he keeps losing everything at school. Um, How much was this? Yeah, 99p for that. They had different colors as well. I just thought it was a good basic pencil case who knows he might love it but i do think he wants like a fancy one because his friend has got one that's oh what's it called that's sharp with all the bags smiggle he wants like one that's a bit more all singing all dancing but just got that for now and um, so we'll see what he thinks i also got a couple of i mean you know just a couple of stationary bits got a sharpener which is oh it, i didn't even know it's an eraser and a sharpener so that'll do him well and then i also got some it's like a pen to erase your pen it's a fine tip eraser so it's a pack of eight of them which you know i think will come in quite handy now they use pens in his class and not pencils so much so that was 99p and then the little sharpener was about 40p i can't actually see it on there but i know it wasn't very much or maybe a little bit more than that but yeah it's just a double sharpener and a rubber and then some just some bits to go with his pencil case. Then just some snacky bits because you can't go in home bargains without buying some of the food. You just can't. I can't anyway. I got some of these just to restock. Got to do a full on restock of everything. And uh, yeah, these are some of those that I always get from home bargains. So these are the little briochettes they're called. So they're just like the little buns that are pano shocks um, with the chocolate chocolate chips in and then i also got some croissants because i couldn't get any of these from tesco all individually wrapped great for the lunch boxes great for very quick breakfasts you know with a bit of fruit and yogurt always goes down a treat in this house so yeah i always grab some of them when i go in home bargains i also got some of these which i thought would go quite nice in one of the jars in the kitchen as well they're like individually wrapped gingerbread men well i think it's like a, a pack of a couple each I thought they'd be quite nice to go with all the coffee stuff. I think you get about two in a pack. You have a little look. Oh, uh, no, they, they're cute. You get three in a pack. So how nice is that just to go on like a little coffee station? They're great for lunch boxes as well. So packs of three of them. And you get quite a lot in there. Don't think they cost very much either. This receipt is really... The ink was obviously going in the, um, in the machine. 89p for all of those. So, yeah, I'm going to put them on my little coffee in my little coffee zone i think they go quite nice there in a jar i also got some of these again restocking for the pet lunches because as i'm filming this today is monday so yeah the shopping has come as well so i just will restock everything which i might do in a video actually i'll just show you all my shopping and then restock i find that really satisfying watching videos like that so i thought maybe i'll do a video on that where i'm just refilling everything don't know what it is but i've seen a lot of them on like tiktok and things and i just find that really satisfying people restocking yeah i got some of these which is just like a variety pack there's 16 different things in there and how much is this one pound 79 for those so they just work out quite nice again for little treats for the boys i also got a couple of boxes of these because i just love them so much and i don't know why they're always reduced like i don't know whether they're just not a popular thing but they're only 99p and you get six bags of the little individual breakfast biscuits don't know why they're just so so much nicer than the big ones and i i am a little bit obsessed i even love putting them actually in um because I have yogurt quite a lot with fruit and things. Emptying a bag of these in in with your yogurt is really, really nice. 
so I would try that if I was you. I put it in with Greek yogurt and honey and just mix it all in with a bit of fruit and it's just delicious. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of these. I got the honey and chocolate chip ones. Couldn't forget about Rue because I haven't bought him any treats for a while. So I got him some schmackos, which were just 99p. For these, they should last him quite a while because he tends to have like half at a time because he's just a teeny weeny sausage. I also bought him a new toy, which is, I mean, you can't see it from here thank goodness but if you ever think that my house is tidy all the time there is a chewed up toy like all over the side of this room that I just don't even want to pick up um, because he just destroys things as soon as he gets them it's like his mission he loves it so much but yeah then it's like clean up time so yeah there is a lot of red bits this side of the room which we will deal with later and um, but yeah can't show you the new toy because it's already wrecked but I did get him a few bits in this uh, in this haul I also got a birthday card because I have a birthday coming up that I need to buy for so I got um, one of these very nice cards actually this is just 99p for this love getting all the cards and things from places like that I would never really go to I mean you can get some really good if you like after a really special card then like obviously Clinton's and W.H. Smith's and places is the place to go but you can end up spending a fortune can't you? Me personally I don't really mind that much about getting a card. I know some people really like cherish um, having a card off people but I would just rather somebody save their money really because I just feel like they're if it's somebody that you're going to see anyway on your birthday i mean i don't know obviously everyone's different aren't they but i could take or leave getting birthday cards that's a good price anyway just from home bargains it's a nice card as well i also got some sandwich bags um which I haven't bought for ages well food and freezer bags there is 45 in here and they are medium size it's just mainly for pat lunches i try not to use them too much but just sometimes they just really come in don't they so yeah i thought i would grab some whilst i remembered and they should last me a while to be fair I've got a really squeaky chair i apologize I think one of the legs is loose you probably see me drop to the floor at some point because I put the chair together so therefore it won't be together properly but yeah I'm aware that it is a little bit squeaky as I move around on it I think it's been like this for a while and yeah I'm loose leg loose leg on the chair but we'll risk it we'll just keep risking it until it eventually falls off um i also got some batteries which were 2.99 i believe yeah 2.99 um i bought some in the last haul and i said that i'll get some in my next one Ugh, just one of them uh, the price if you were buying a load of batteries all at once that would be to me quite a depressing thing to spend a load of money on a load of batteries all at once so i just grab them as i go because christmas is coming up and I'm gonna be needing the batteries so yeah i got some double a batteries eight pack 2.99 and the stock up is beginning for christmas moving on now to the things that i bought from poundland archie did get a couple of bits i'm not going to show actually because i don't even know where he's put them he bought a couple of halloween things because the halloween range in there is really good actually if you don't want to spend a lot on costumes and things i've got loads of masks and they've got those horrible things to be honest in there archie bought a witch's hat and he bought like a little lantern i don't know what we're doing this halloween is everybody trick-or-treating again this year because obviously it was pretty much cancelled last year wasn't it so yeah not really sure i'm not a huge halloween celebrator but yeah i have to see what the kids want to do really but they have got some good costumes in home bargains as well actually i think every time my boys have ever worn a costume it's normally from home bargains actually but yeah poundland has got a good selection of stuff as well but a couple of homeware bits that i bought now i don't actually know what these smell like so i'm just hoping that they're going to be nice it could be awful i just <laughs> the packaging could be gross but the packaging made it look like it was going to be nice i'm an advertiser's dream honestly peony and patchouli diffuser and then i also got they had like big candles of these as well but i got these three little individual ones these would be really nice as gifts i know i'm always going on about a hamper gift you buy one of these this was three pound i don't have the receipt anymore which is just typical of me this wasn't a pound it may be two or three pound for this but you get a pack of three of these candles um for three pound you could take them out and then add them to different gifts different hampers little spa gifts little pamper sets perfect in my opinion i think they look really expensive as well they could look really you wouldn't know if you took this out of the packaging and put it into a fancy hamper with some like nice chocolates nice bubble bath that could cost you like no more than a fiver to put together i think that would look 
a lot more expensive i will do some hamper gift ideas um i sort of need to get my bottom in gear with all of this um christmas prep but i am a such a fan of making gifts at christmas so yeah i will do some hamper gift ideas if you are interested in seeing that well you know like making things look more expensive than they actually are is something that i'm a real big fan of so yeah in here we have got linen breeze peony of peony and patchouli and then wild berry um i might just get them out and have a quick smell actually so i can tell you if they're actually any good or not because they could be awful or they could have absolutely no scent whatsoever but i do think they're nice i think they look expensive i love the little cork lids just nice to go on like a bath board and things oh that's quite nice it's really fresh smelling no i'm pleased with them I think a pound each. I don't think that's too bad at all. I think they look quite expensive looking. I like the packaging. So pleased with them. I also got some socks. Now nothing in Poundland is a pound anymore, is it? So this, I was thinking I wouldn't really need my receipt, but I can't remember how much these were, but they weren't a pound. There's five pairs of socks here. Three pound, they were. Three pound on um, the back it says there. So really just chewed quite a lot of mine, won't lie. And obviously we are in that time of year now, boots and needing big socks. So I thought I would grab these ones, which I love because they're leopard print and I'm a big fan of an animal print generally on things. So yeah, they look quite nice quality as well. So just some socks from Poundland whilst I saw them. I also got these. My friend bought them and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get some of them. Which I'm, you know, I'm easily, I'm easily influenced to be honest. Um, but they are pumpkin teeth. So once you've carved out your pumpkin, which we will be doing this year, then you can stick some fake teeth in. They also have these, where else did they have them? May have been Morrison's. They've got them in a couple of other shops I've seen. But yeah, how cool are those? So I'm, I'm thinking that's gonna look really good when I do that with the kids. Seven pieces, it says in there. Oh, this chair. It's really squeaky. <laughs> um, I also... Oh, there's my receipt. I do have it. Oh, the re diffuser was £3. Yeah, we're all caught up. I also got this, which again my friend was buying, and I thought, I'm going to get one of them, because that will come in handy. It is an ice cube tray, um, but for water bottles. So, you know when you want your bottle to be cold, not fit an ice cube in, you can with this. So, yeah, they're just like long ice cube shapes that you can put into your water bottle. And that was just a pound for that. And they're not exciting, but essential because I was really desperate for these. I know like two hairstyles. I'll either have my hair down, you may notice this, or I have it in a bun. That's just generally what I do. When it needs washing, it's up. Uh, when it doesn't, it's down. That's generally my um, two different styles. I should probably venture out and wear it differently but yeah this is just my go-to and i always need kirby grips is what i always call them hair grips to go around the old bun so i thought i would grab some whilst i was in there because they go missing don't they i'm really bad for things like eyelashes and hair grips and hair bands taking them out and then leaving them on the sides losing them i'm just really not very good for keeping them safe so i thought i'd get some more there's a pound for Oh, I don't even know how many you get. Lots. You get lots of them. 200, it does tell me. Yeah, 200 hair grips. So we'll see how long they last me before I'm lost them all and I'm scurrying around in the morning in the bottom of drawers trying to find a couple, which is normally what happens. And then I also bought a couple of birthday cards, which were two for a pound in there. Not that cheap, really, because they're only like, they're nothing special. So they're 50p cards. I already used one because Archie went to a party. That's where I find them these sorts of things really good you know like kids birthday parties i also bought a present from there as well like i bought a coloring book that was a pound and then a pencil case set for a little girl and it was five pound but it had loads of stuff with it so it was quite a good price so yeah that kind of place to get kids birthday stuff because the boys are back to that point now where they're going to birthday parties and things again and children can obviously have parties again so i always like to get birthday cards from places like that and you can get some really good presents as well so that is the lot for this haul anyway until the next one till i find more things to buy um but yeah i'm going to leave the link down below for the handbag sale would be a great gift actually for christmas if you're buying for anybody getting them a nice handbag would be well received i am sure i know that it would for me anyway and i really hope that you enjoyed this video it would be so nice of you if you gave it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i would love honestly i would love to see you again for my next one take care everyone bye